So I've been running Arch Linux for about a month now, thanks to Omarchi, and I've had a really annoying issue where I couldn't make Baldur's Gate 3 start and it would throw a bunch of errors. And so if I click play here, what you'll see is, is that it says it's starting up and if you're doing this for the first time or following up the video, you're probably gonna see like a message about compiling shaders. I've spared you all that, I've already compiled them, so that doesn't happen. But whether you pick DirectX or Vulkan, it won't start. So you see this kind of like old school dialogue, looks like Windows, and that's because it runs under Proton, and that will stop and just totally crash out. If we click play again, uh, we can click Vulkan this time, and that in theory should be better because the graphics card has great support for that and so does Linux, but we get a different error here which says failed to collect displays. This took me quite a bit of time to troubleshoot because the information online varies and it's not super accurate and there's also a lot of components in the stack that could cause these messages. The first thing I did is try to run Steam from the terminal so I could see if there's any messages there but there was nothing really obvious here. And the other thing was is I had actually played other games with no problems. So I have been playing Factorio and Factorio supports native Wayland so it works fantastic and it performs really well but it's a very modern up-to-date game that has great Linux support, whereas Baldur's Gate 3 has to go through the Proton layer in Steam to make it work, so not quite as good as Factorio. And basically, when you try to Google this stuff and troubleshoot it, you're gonna get a whole bunch of different random results that aren't really gonna lead anywhere. Uh, it's from gamers who aren't necessarily very familiar with Linux, and nor should they be, but they usually solve their issue without any really detailed uh, technical breakdown of what happened or why. And if you are running Omarchi and wanna get started with Steam, in the manual, there's a whole page on it, and it's really easy. Basically, what you do is you start up a terminal, type Omarchi, that's gonna give you a menu. Just move down to Setup, and then select Steam, and that's gonna install everything you need to get going. Uh, so I'll do this. Um, the key here is that it's actually going to enable multi-lib because most games are 32-bit and you'll want to have that there. And so in my case, uh, I'm already installed and I have Steam going, but it's really easy to get that set up. While trying to troubleshoot all this, it's important to note that I'm running the B-Link SER8, which is a Ryzen chipset with the integrated AMD 780M graphics. And I put a link below if you're interested in that. It's only $499, so very affordable, good uh, starter Linux system, and it's very powerful also. So very good price to performance ratio. Part of the reason I wanted to make this video is because there's a lot of pieces to this stack. So we're running Hyperland, which uses Wayland, and Steam needs to connect to that somehow. And mostly Steam games don't use direct Wayland, and so they might use X11 to Wayland. And Googling all these things and trying to put these answers together gets pretty complex pretty fast because you might also have an NVIDIA card or an Intel card or a Radian card. So if you do have the AMD GPU drivers and the Radian card, and I made some videos about how I set this all up so you can check those out also. But if you have it that way, uh, what we wanna do is, is follow the Arch Wiki and it says test with only Vulkan Radian first. So some Steam posts and some other posts say, yeah, yeah, do these AMD VLK drivers or do these AMD GPU Pro drivers. Don't do any of that. If you're on the B link like me, you don't need it you wanna make sure you have Vulkan Radeon installed. And there's some other packages here too. Uh, and you see there's this Vulkan ICD loader and uh, you need to get the lib32 version of that also. So if you have all those installed, how you'll know that's working is you can type Vulkan info and that's going to give you a big thing saying here's all the capabilities and that everything's working. If this throws an error, then you know that you need to recheck those steps but I'm going to assume that you are running the Vulcan Radeon and it still won't start. The fix for me to get Baldur's Gate 3 working is to do this command here, which unsets the SDL video driver. And so if we go to Steam, what you can do is, is go to Baldur's Gate and go to Properties. And then what we're gonna do under Launch Options is just paste that in there. And so once we do that, what you can do is, is you can click play again and that's gonna pick up that launch option, which is gonna unset that variable, which is causing a problem with some games. Uh, so this might not work for others, but it does work for Baldur's Gate 3, and you won't need this for Factorio because that just works. And then here, we're gonna select Vulkan to start. And now it's gonna work, and it's running under Proton, but it works really well, and the performance seems really solid too. And so as you can see, uh, yeah, NVIDIA logo, we're not running NVIDIA, whatever. For a small mini PC, the B-Link does pretty good at 1080p here. 
and it's able to keep up and I haven't really tweaked any settings or anything or messed with scaling yet. I just wanted to get it working and you can see here that uh, it loads pretty fast and then it's good to go. And we can see under the video options that it does detect that we have the AMD Radeon 780M graphics and everything is good here. I did set this to use the full screen setting and it worked a lot better for me than board of this window under Hyperlin. So I recommend you try that. And also we can set the upscaling type. Uh, so that way it will use less resources to render the same stuff. So if you can see here, uh, this looks pretty smooth and we'll just see what happens when I load this. Um, pretty performant and I wouldn't expect it to be much better under Windows actually. So just given the hardware involved in everything, I would say that Linux is doing a really solid job here. And uh, this is the stage two of the game. So uh, nothing crazy graphical compared to stage three, I guess. Uh, but the fact is it's playable, it's working. It's just this little integrated unit. And um, the easy path. yeah, it looks great. So if you were stuck at this phase in the game and you couldn't launch it and you were like, what's going on, Arch Linux? What's going on, Emerald Archie? Uh, that's how you fix it. Unset that variable. It might work for other games also. And again, do not do other things with your 3D drivers. Don't uninstall Linux or anything else. Just try that first and see how it works. Let me know if you have any other game tweaks or anything in the comments below. And also like and subscribe if this helped you. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. Later.